Hi, I'm Amy Sheckler. I'm a product planner here at Winnebago Outdoors, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Solus Pocket 36B. The Solus is one of our best-selling vans that we've ever brought to market, and with this floor plan, you get a fully functional bathroom, some flexible seating, as well as more power for off-grid camping. Let's take a look. You'll see that the van doesn't scream camper van, and this was intentional for those solo travelers who are really worried about their security and just want to fly a little bit lower under the radar. We leveraged the Ram black appearance package as evident in here in the wheels. And you can also see that under the vehicle, we've moved the propane and the water tanks inside so your ground clearance is much more significant. On the top of the van, you can see that we have an air conditioner and 190 watts of solar. On the driver's side of the van, you have your gray tank dump, exterior access for your LP tank, which we've relocated inside, which really helps with that ground clearance your shore power connection when you are at a campground rather than using the solar and boondocking, your Truma vent here, and then all the way at the front, your fuel fill door. One of the first things you notice is this drop down table, which is adjustable for when you're parked on an incline. This really facilitates having that outdoor living. Another great feature to bring the outdoors in is this roll down bug net. It zips closed and has a magnetic closure so you don't have to unzip it every time you go in and out of the vehicle. The first thing you notice when you step in this van is how spacious it is for a 17 foot camper van. Starting at the galley, we have a refrigerator here with a travel latch that you can access inside and outside at your flip down table so you can get a cold beverage wherever you may be. Above the fridge, you'll see one of the first places that we have power outlets, which you'll find located throughout the van. You have USBs, 12 volt, and 120 volt. Moving inboard, you have two light switches. This one is for the exterior porch light over the passenger side door, and this one being your main ceiling lights throughout the center of the van. On the top here, you have a two burner LP cooktop, it also doubles as counter space so you can enjoy the outdoors right here at the sliding door. Here you have a beautiful stainless steel sink with plenty of room to wash your dishes. And then you have an abundance of countertop space about two and a half feet where you can prep food, stand up desk, or you could mod until your heart's complete. You could make a cabinet here, you could strap your Berkey down, whatever you might like and fits your needs, you have the space to do it here. You have your outlets, 120 volt, 12 volt, USB, your temperature sensor, your fresh tank fill here where you can see your level with a convenient light, your gravity fill in case you need to add a quick gallon, your hot water setting here on the Eco Hot. There's also abundant storage throughout the van, including a set of three drawers here below the sink and plenty of overhead space, including two overheads at the galley and three additional overheads above your dinette. The storage continues in the rear here with this bungee storage pocket in which you can store books, water bottle, phones, whatever you might need with USB 12 volt and 120 volt to charge any devices that you may need to store. There's also storage forward of me in your cab overhead shelf, or as our owners like to call it, the pizza oven. Here with your windows, they all open so you can get a nice breeze and again, bring that outdoor in and it has this blackout window covering for security and in case you want to sleep in in the morning and block out the light. One of the coolest and most innovative and personally my favorite features in this coach is this multifunctional dinette that I'm sitting in. Dinette mode comes in two different forms, two-person dinette mode and four-person dinette mode. If you want to go four-person dinette mode, it's great for entertaining or hosting a game night in the van. In travel mode, you can extend the forward-facing dinette cushion towards the passenger side of the coach to provide seating for two additional guests. It features two three-point seatbelts and a child seat tether for car seats. Sleep mode, traveling solo, no problem. Turn the dinette into a single sleeper space that spans 30 inches by 75 inches. You don't want to tear it down? No need. The single sleeper still gives you access to all your coach's amenities. If you need a little bit more space, you can extend that dinette across the coach and create a comfortable 53 inch by 75 inch sleeping space. Perfect for a couple or if you need a little bit of extra room to sleep at night. There are also multiple modes, including sofa mode, which creates a six foot six couch that extends to the front of the coach 
all the way to the wet bath. It instantly makes your compact living space an entertainment hotspot. The L-shaped lounge space gives you the feeling of a sofa with a recliner in a 17-foot van. In the rear of the coach, we have a cross coach bathroom and a van that's 17 foot. This is amazing. You can access your bathroom both from the inside or from the outside through the rear doors. This is one of the biggest features on this small 17 foot floor plan. As you can see, plenty of space. You can use it as a wet bath with your shower. You can take the toilet out and have a luxurious full bathroom with nice standing space for your shower. Moving to the storage side of things, you have a medicine cabinet here with a nice mirror so that if you're applying makeup, shaving, whatever you might need to do, you have visibility for that. On the topic of all those accessories you bring with you, there's outlets here that are 120 volt and on the back side that are USB and 12 volt. So electric shavers, electric toothbrush, hair dryer, whatever you might need, you have power for that right here in the bathroom. You have storage above for all of those things that you may not want to put away formally in your cabinet, but you still have quick access and they don't go sliding around the restroom while you're driving. On the other side of this vehicle, you have a large wardrobe with both a hanging bar and a shelf. So anything that you might need to store from button-ups to jeans, you have storage for that. To the left, there's some storage cubbies, large storage beneath that's accessible from the inside or from the rear. Then on the rear, you have a molly panel with a soulless pack for any kind of storage that you might be able to tuck away. Continuing on with this restroom, you can see that there's a toilet, and as I mentioned before, that's removable, but it also makes it nice if you are going somewhere where there's going to be a restroom that you may not want to bring your toilet with you. You have a convenient roll-up door. Stepping down from the coach, you have your water center here with your shower head that can either be used outside for an exterior shower to spray off that gear that you're gonna be storing in your mudroom, or you can actually remove this and mount it in the ceiling. You have your faucet here for hot and cold controls, your fresh water inlet right below that, your fresh water valve, and below here is all the rest of the water access that you'll need. Our water tanks are inside of the coach to aid in four season use, as well as ground clearance. The final feature of the restroom is this LP tank here. Remove the door. Inside, there are two little levers that you release. And then this entire tank drops down and out of the van at a nice, convenient, ergonomic height to reach and to turn off any settings you may need. Tilt it back in after you have it filled. And because this is a 20 pound canister, you can get it filled at any Walmart or gas station or wherever else you may be able to find LP. Continuing to the toilet, as I said it was removable, let me quick show you how to do that. Pull this tab here and simply lift the toilet out. And now you have all the floor space of your bathroom to take a shower. And as if this shower wasn't big enough, you also have a rear shower space here where you can hang a shower curtain and have some privacy to change, some privacy to have an outdoor shower and enjoy nature, or just somewhere to hang wetsuits. Above my head is the air fan, which allows for a nice cross breeze through the coach. The air conditioner here can be powered by your five kilowatt optional EcoFlow lithium system, which is physically located under the rear dinette seat. Those can be monitored off of your in-coach display here or an app on your phone. You can monitor your high level battery percentage and the state of your battery, including the temperature, as well as the inputs that you have coming in, such as solar, alternator, and shore power, and your outputs here AC and DC, such as your lights or your physical outlets to charge your phone. The other panels you'll see next to the EcoFlow panel are this monitor panel that controls your water pump, as well as where you can monitor your battery levels and your gray tank level. Following that is your Truma control panel here, in which you can control your hot air and your hot water. The physical system is located under the front dinette seat, and it works really well for your boondocking or your plugging in or a mixture of both. This system is great. It allows you to go farther and stay out longer. As you can see, this compact 17 foot, 10 inch coach offers a whole lot of living. From the versatile galley, to the multifunctional dinette, the abundance of storage, to that cross coach bathroom in the back, top that off with the optional EcoFlow system, and you're ready to hit the road. Check one out at a dealer near you or go to winnebago.com.